Hello everybody, it's Tanya from Dolly Days Nursery and it's been such a long time since I've done a video. Oh my gosh, I've just been so busy and it just, I just haven't had time. So, I figured I would come and give a little video. I have a haul that I'll share with you and just give you an update on what's going on in life for me. So, oops, sorry. Um, I have been busy, of course, working on the magazine, working on custom reborns, and um, working on my house here. Harley was sick for a full week. Um, and, of course, I also have a daytime job. <laughs> so... My time has been split between all these things and now I'm just being real brave and throwing a um, kitchen demolition <laughs> into the mix of it. You know, just because. I don't really have a whole lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I did get a haul. I've been saving up some things and and uh, thought, you know what? I have enough here that I can do a haul video and show you what things I have here. Um, so anyway, mostly I've been trying to gather up some proper photography um, tools and preps, uh, props and, and all that stuff um, to try to help me with phot photographing my reborns. And um, you might be familiar with the, the ring that people use um, for taking photos. It's basically uh, a ring frame and in the center of that ring on the floor there's a gigantic um, cushion. And so you put your uh, blankets or whatever you want over that ring and then you clamp them on um, and the baby goes in the center. So that's what I've been looking for. They're kind of expensive. Then I thought, oh, maybe I might be able to make one of those. And then I went to Walmart and came across this doozy little thing. It's a common item many people have. Uh, I've been going to get one for years just for the sake of the comfort. Um, but anyway, I picked up a moon chair. So I'll just show you sorry for all the movement here but anyway and everything is a total miss here because I have my microwave is sitting on the floor right next to me here <laughs> uh, and I have light fixtures and every, oh, anyway this is my life of course while we renovate and do everything but anyway I have this moon chair and I thought maybe if I use it on a level uh, instead of for a chair, it might just might work. So I'm hoping it will. Anyway, we'll go back to this now. <clears throat> um, I have a few more items ordered. They're not here yet. They're on the way. Who knows when they'll show up, whether they'll be early or late. Um, but anyway, the other thing I wanted was some background um, scenes. And I have been wanting the proper frame to hold these up instead of, you know, I, I just have, I had only two, um, basically one for girl, one for boy backgrounds and I have been like just poking a hole or using painter's tape or something just to, to keep it on the wall and uh, trying to work with it that way. Anyway, my frame came today and I'm just still totally blown away that it is what was in the picture because I was expecting it to come 
on on um, Amazon, the ones that most of the ones I were I was seeing was uh, just the um, what is it called? Um, just the crossbar for the top. And so <clears throat> I have the window open. Sorry for any noise. Um, and when I would go through the details, that's what the item was. And most of the time it was uh, anywhere from 60 to a hundred and something dollars just for the crossbar. And I thought, uh, I'm not paying that. So I took my chances and I said, okay, I'm going to order this, everything in the picture. And I'm like, well, it's saying frame. So hopefully it's correct. Anyway, it came and it is indeed the whole frame and in a carrying bag. I'm just going to, I'll lay it up here. And I am totally, I'm shocked for the price. So it's like it has two tripod side legs um, where the, the three legs come out. So this is basically what I have, this frame. It's incredible. And it also had the three clamps for the top right here. And this opens up and there's a slot for each leg as well as it looks like maybe three, no, I think it's four, four sections of these, um, these bars here for the top. So you can adjust it. And, um, again, also on the sides, you can adjust it. So it doesn't have, you know, you can have adults in the photo or children um it can go low or high whatever you want and so i'm like i'm i'm just totally blown away um the name of it is yesker y e s k e r and i will tell you what i paid for this because i'm for helping anybody uh to get a good deal but this um I believe was $58 for a whole frame. I, I'm just totally, it, it blows my mind. So I have that. Oops, dang. I did buy a black backdrop because I what I was using was um, a curtain, a, a panel that you would put up to your window. And... Um, it was picking up every bit of flint. Um, and I have two more here. So this one here is, it's called a vintage, vintage pink. Uh, I like, I like the fabric. It's kind of like a, a satin, no, silk, kind of like a silk. And so it's vintage, it's pink, uh, kind of like faded out. And it's like um, a fake floor or boards or whatever for the wall or whatever. I'm not going to open it all the way. I don't have enough room here. Um, but one of these days when I'm doing some photography, doing a photo shoot, I will insert some photos of another video. And this one I'm excited for. I'm so excited for this one. <clears throat> you can see kind of the picture in the back, back of it. Um, but this one's kind of paper stiff. This is a Christmas scene. And I, again, I can't open the whole thing, but the floor, the bottom is the floor. And look at that color. I am, oh my gosh, look at that color. Um, it's a Christmas scene. So it has a tree and it has, uh, toys. There's a rocking horse, wooden rocking horse, and there's this little, um, I don't know if you can see, little reindeer, and there's gifts, so that's going to be very nice, and it's big enough that maybe I could even do like a family photo, that's very nice. 
I got more sponges. I like using these sponges um, when I seal my uh, Reborns. These are the sponges I use. So I've got a nice big package of those. And I've been looking up crafts, Christmas crafts. And so one requires Scrabble letters. <laughs> so I, uh, I got those. That's going to be part of my uh, 24 days of Advent. And then I got this one. This is for when my child size reborn is done. This is for holding buckles. I have a buckle here. So you clip your buckle on there. This rod can be used for headbands. So um, I do have a, yep, I got a headband. So you just slip your headbands over there, and that just um, help, holds on there with those cup hooks. Um, but I'm not going to use it for headbands because this is for my child size reborn. She's not going to be wearing these type of headbands. Um, I'm sure with her long hair, I'll be using scrunchies. Um, so those can go on there. And then also there's a slot on the top. And that is for these type of headbands, which of course she will wear. So those go on there and hook in. And then I like the fact that this is a photo frame. Um, I'm not even I'm trying to read that now. Um, you can take this off and put a photo in there. So I might do some kind of a collage type of photo for there. And um, put it on the, on the uh, wall. Uh, I got some more hair. Look at that. Beautiful hair. This one is golden pecan brown, and this one is light baby blonde. Now, I got this one because I have um, a custom to do, <laughs> and I think that's the closest I'm going to get to the color of hair that she's requesting. So those are that. And I also got the hair for my child size reborn. So um, this is a Canadian. I bought it. Bought it. Um, it came from Ontario. Ontario? Where'd my paper go? It went on the floor. Oh, there it is. It came from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So, um, I was looking for something kind of local, especially within my own country, because I didn't know, well, I was, I was looking anywhere for Canada or U.S. because um, I didn't know what to be trusting. But anyway, this is made... imported is imported so it's a doll company a doll company a hair company and i mean it's you know it's extensions is what it is and it's designed in united states so i opened one pack i got two packs because she's a big girl and i wanted her to have a lot of hair um, I don't want it to be very thin. I want it to be nice and full. And I want to be able to do updos. And I want to be able to curl it so it had to be human hair. And just look at this gorgeous hair. It's um, chestnut brown, it, but I didn't realize until after I went in and ordered it. I went back and looked at it and it said ombre 
which of course ombre means it fades, right? So it goes from darker to lighter for this color. Uh, but now that I look at it, I don't think there's going to be much to be seen. By the time I cut it from the edge, and then another inch goes inside the head, there's not going to be a lot of the darker. Uh, even though I thought the chestnut was going to be a bit darker. But that's fine. Anyway, I think she's going to have lovely hair. It's really nice. It feels good. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't feel synthetic at all, um, which is a good thing because I was afraid it would be, um, even though it was listed as human hair. But just look at that. It's gorgeous. And uh, the brush. <laughs> That's the brush for the um, wigs and extensions. So I'll probably use this brush on her when the hair is in her head, just because it's better for the hair so I'm I'm so far very impressed with this hair um, I do have another um, I have a toddler to do with uh, human hair so I'm glad to already know about this company because I'll definitely purchase from them again um, it's just you know you don't know what to expect if you haven't purchased uh, extensions or anything before you just don't know and um, so this is 14 inches long and there's 85 grams in each pack so I definitely should have enough hair um, I'm really hoping to have enough left over to use on the toddler because the uh, or nope, I don't know if that color is going to work. Anyway, we'll see. Um, and of course, it was a little bit cheaper because I did have two packs. And there was a coupon, so I managed to, to use the coupon. So that only took... Um, I only ordered that last week. That only took maybe six days to get to me. So... Anyway, I'm going to move on to clothes. My poor babies. You can't hardly see them. Um, you have to play peekaboo. <laughs> uh, so I thought when I came in, I thought, yeah, maybe it's time to do a video because if I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to see my babies. Um, but anyway, there's lots of clothes here. Do I have you? I don't even have you straight. <laughs> So, let's see what we have here. Um, now, I have a bunch of clothes on this side. And I have a bunch of clothes on the other side. You've already seen that. Um, and this girl's going to need her own closet because <laughs> every time I see clothes um, in her size, I buy it. Um, especially if I see it on sale. Because I love looking for the uh, for the clearance items. Anyway, um, so this child size girl is going to be styling. Now, before I get into this, if you have a name you want to drop in the comments, um, I haven't a hundred percent decided on her name. Uh, so she is the Nicole sculpt by Natalie, Natalie Blick and um, so she's she's a big girl she wears a size 7 toddler shoe and she wears or I, I'm told that her she wears about a 4 a size 4 some things maybe 3 but uh, a 4 in clothes so she's a big girl so I'm basically thinking perhaps like around a 5 year old um, petite five-year-old or six-year-old and uh, I've, I've known them to be that size real tiny so anyway I've been trying to pick up some items that match uh, so that siblings can have pictures taken together um, more specifically Rosie <laughs> 
So I have this gorgeous little dress. It's like a jumper. Um, this is a size four. Now, I always have to keep in mind that she's not, her legs are not full vinyl. So she's only vinyl from her knee down. So I need things that are going to cover from knee down. Um, which makes it hard if you're looking for shorts. Unless I decide to put leggings on underneath or something like that. But anyway, I have this one. And then I picked up this one for Rosie. This is a pair of overalls. They're overalls. They came with the shirt. I wish the dress had come with the shirt. Because now I'm trying to find something just plain white. Or maybe the gold would be look would look nice as well. So I have that one. Um, <laughs> I picked this one up on Sunday. This is a gorgeous little outfit. Nice for fall. And like for Thanksgiving maybe. And then I picked up one for Rosie as well. The same little outfit, same, the little bow is the same on both. Um, and then I see over in the boy section that they had boy overalls with the flannel shirt. So I have a kit that I want to make for myself in a newborn. So I thought I'll do this and hopefully by the time October I will have him finished um, I'll definitely have um, the child sized girl done <clears throat> so when I went and went to the checkout she said oh you're gonna have family photos done I said no <laughs> oh she said I said no I'm a doll artist I make reborns those lifelike reborn babies <laughs> she said oh that's so cool <laughs> I said yeah I'm here lots and I buy a lot of clothes here this I also bought this is a the new um, stock that Carter's has that's where I got the um, these as well it's from Carter's of course most everything I buy now is from Carter's um, but I got this one it's three month and I love the pants and they're folded. I always think of Rosie first, but I also have a Nino kit, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do boy or girl with that one. Initially, I was thinking girl because I bought this for when I do Nino. Because every time I buy it for a newborn or a preemie, I'm like, I wish I had it in a bigger size. The new family favorite. So, little sweetie. So that's where I'm kind of leading with that. And then I have pajamas for my child size. Hello Kitty. And again, like most of it is clearance. And I did get her a belt. Because I'm a little bit torn on what size she's going to wear. Um, because as for pants... <laughs> this is not a very big belt. Um, as for pants, I keep coming home thinking, you know, I bought, everything I got is way too big. It's size four to five. And then I come and I come in the room, I bring one of her legs with me, and I stick it down in the pants leg, and sure enough, it's the right size. So in proportion, her legs are going to be the right size, but I'm not so sure her upper body will be the right size for that four to five so I don't if it's not I'm just gonna have to alter some of her clothes because most everything in suits that I buy you can't mix and match the size I did come across a pair of shorts maybe they will work because they are kind of long I'm thinking they would be down to her knee um, we will see <laughs> In the meantime, our summer is going to be gone before she's done. <laughs> so they're size four. And then I came across this cute little shirt. I really, I've seen these on some of those um, child size dolls and they're gorgeous. So it's kind of almost off the shoulder. 
it's just like a little crop top which will probably be long enough for her um that was on clearance so i grabbed it it wasn't even in the right place it was out in the food aisle where, <laughs> where i found it someone had it and decided not to then i have some newborn clothes because like i said i have some kits that i want to get done for me um it may not be until christmas but that's okay so for the boy that i mentioned um look at world this is from carter's it's uh the new line of dinosaurs that they have it is so cute And I bought this a while back and never did use it yet, but it's cutest kitsch. Of course, when I saw whales, I was thinking of my nursery and um, it's so cute. Look, so girly because most everything in whales, you see it for boys. And I had this little number here. So cute. I bought it, but it ended up not being big enough for one, um, one baby. So... I said I'll hold on to it and this one is also from Carter's it's the um, little romper this is so cute and again my summer is going to be gone before I'm able to use any of these and this gorgeous little sleeper with the butterflies also Carter's and now I have some creamy I'm doing a preemie currently and um, this is a cute little outfit from Carter's it has giraffes on it and the little feet have have giraffe faces and then there's also a sleeper with it so that's pretty neat it's the three three piece preemie and a ladybug sleeper and a little elephant <laughs> elephants all over the onesie and then two the mama and the baby love my mama on the front and this is so adorable two little two piece hello beautiful the little flower and the pants and it comes with the little socks and the headband so those are so cute I did I do have another outfit but I'm not going to show it yet it was too big way too big and I'm going to alter it and then I have this one to go with a custom um, because of course I'm Canadian so they are born in Canada love Canada um, and I came across this blanket so when I did I picked it up I wish there was a pink one uh, precious moments I absolutely love 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 precious moments and when I saw it I said it's coming home with me Love that one and then I have another pair of jeans here for the, the girly <laughs> and these were marked down um, they were five dollars so like I say I just look around for for the goodbyes and um, I have a my little pony shirt and I thought it would be cute if my little girl gets to wear a pony shirt and we have our picture taken together at some point and um, then I also picked up a Yoda shirt for her And then one of her siblings can also wear a Yoda onesie. <laughs> Just to pair up some, some clothes for them. Um, I purchased these a while back and I thought that maybe they would be too small. But I'm thinking they're not going to be. Because of the size of the... Um, the cloth body that will attach to her legs and to her torso I don't I don't think I don't think they're gonna to be too wide 
I'm not sure if the legs, leg holes might be a little bit too big, but I don't really think, I don't think that that's going to be too big. And I couldn't take them back because here they won't, um, they won't do returns on undies and um, even if they haven't been opened so I got stuck with them I just thought well maybe if they don't work I'll donate them to someone sometime so those are there anyway I think that's it for I think that's it for my uh, my haul and I look around my room here until I uh, get a few more items but anyway it's uh, it's been a busy time and uh, I'm working on issue four of the magazine so issue three is out um, if you have purchased it make sure you get your entries in for all the giveaways because uh, the time is soon coming I think on the first it's the giveaways are scheduled for the first but I think I'm going to change that because people send them to me digitally anyway so I'm not really getting any in the mail anymore, and um, it means that if I if I um, draw them later, then more people will have the opportunity to enter. But anyway, there's lots of giveaways in there, and there's even a giveaway for a full diaper bag, and it's based on the gender and the size of that the winner requests. Uh, up to a certain size and of course that all depends on um, what's available for me to purchase <laughs> but anyway that's uh, that's going to be a pretty interesting um, gift to win win anyway I am done I'm sure this I can't even see my count on my uh, my phone I'm sure it must be at least <laughs> 30 minutes and uh, I have to go move a few more things before my uh, construction crew <laughs> arrives to um, take down two walls in the kitchen, living room, slash dining room. <laughs> anyway, I will see you soon. Hope you like the video and um, don't forget to drop a name. I do have a name kind of in my mind. I think I'd like to call her Charity. Um, she is going to have a specific role and she's going to be doing things that I think the name Charity would really um, emphasize and represent her well. Um, but of course I always give two names so I'm going to be wanting a middle name. Um, so I was either going to call her Charity or Hope. So what do you think would go with those names? Drop a comment for some uh, girly names and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.